everybody, welcome to Work It Wednesday. Uh, for those of you who might have jumped on earlier in the day, I made a um, bountiful bread bowl. I want to tell you that I've been making this for 20 years, and um, I was supposed to go out for dinner tonight, and that was going to put my it was going to be with my Caesar salad, and uh, for some reason it just didn't work out. It ended up in like I don't know 30 pieces, so I'm not even going to show it to you because it's like I said in 30 pieces. Um, so what I am going to do though right now is I'm making the croutons for my Caesar salad. So you're going to, this is just a, a, a baguette if you wanted to uh, use, if you've got a day old that would be even better. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and cut up the pieces as thick as you want your croutons to be. I'm not going to do a whole lot because clearly I'm not going out for dinner like I was supposed to be. So it's just myself and Jack. So I didn't want to um, make too much. And of course, it's on the stoneware, and this is the old stoneware, it's seasoned. And I have a little bit of uh, olive oil in here, and then I'm just going to put a couple of pieces of garlic. Most of you would put a lot more pieces of garlic, but my Jack doesn't like garlic, and seeing how it's just going to be him and I, I'm just going to put one in. Uh, normally, I would put more. Uh, so, of course, you know with the garlic press, you do not have to peel your garlic. It just all stays in the bottom like this, and it comes out just like that. Um, they come with, this is a very old one, this one's probably about 18 or 20 years old. The new ones come with this cute little brush, I call it a Barbie doll brush. Uh, it's where it cleans out your garlic. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some um, Parmesan cheese on here. Now I hate to say this, but um, unfortunately with the pandemic, we have not been able to get our adjustable uh, cheese grater. As soon as it comes back in, you guys will be the first to know, I promise. But this is how great this is, so we're just going to do some of that. And I'm going to use my trusty, trusty brush and brush oil on all of my croutons. much cheese you can get with just a little tiny piece and again we're hoping that these will come out real soon but what's happened with the pandemic is that the manufacturer uh, cannot get the parts to fix their machines so unfortunately we cannot get the cheese grater at this time so in the meantime I've had my oven turned on I'm just going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees and I'm just going to let it cook until they get nice and crunchy so in the meantime, we're going to come back over here to the salad spinner that I talked about uh, yesterday. And of course, we've got some romaine lettuce. I'm going to just chop this up. And now these are the salad choppers, which is really funny because I very rarely use this The salad. I almost always use them for chicken. But lo and behold, they really do do a great job on salad. If I can avoid getting my chicken with my fingers in here. And uh, the recipe... All the recipes I looked at, and I really spent a lot of time trying to find a, a recipe that I really liked for the salad dressing, and, and quite frankly, um, they all, they all were really, really fattening. Like they had, you know, first of all, it was the, you know, the uh, raw eggs, which doesn't do it for me in a salad dressing, and then they wanted me to put the anchovies in it, which definitely doesn't do it for me. And, um, and then the Caesar, the uh, Parmesan cheese, and um, they do say that you can use Worcestershire sauce instead. But I'm going to be perfectly honest and tell you that I ended up getting um, um, Paul Newman's Caesar salad, classic Caesar salad dressing. So, okay, so here's my um, salad, and I'm going to just take it over here. I'll be over here, dear. You guys can just see my mess when you're not supposed to. Alright, we're just going to rinse this off. And pop it back in here. And, and again, I told you about this earlier. This is on the outlet. It's on sale. It's actually a really good price. I just ordered myself another one because I've had this for... I don't know, I want to say maybe 10 years, but I don't want to lose it. If something does happen to it, I want to make sure that I can get another one. So please don't open this, this, okay, until it's done spinning. So you just have the little black button that you push it. And again, I've told you this before, uh, Doris Christopher was a lefty. So all of our products can be used by either left-handed people or right-handed people. So if you are a left-handed, you can just go ahead and 
do it that way. So my salad is all set, whoops, and you can see the water that collects on the bottom. And then the last thing that I'm gonna put in here, and this is my very favorite, and this is my garlic peeler, I'm sorry, my garlic slicer. I've told you guys, anybody who's been to any of my shows, you know that I use this all the time. And yes, it's for garlic, and you can put your garlic in here. Now you do have to peel the garlic when you put it in this, but you can also do almonds. And the other thing that you can do is you can do cheese for my salad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up some of this cheese. So we can just pop it in here like this. A little too fat, and you're not gonna go in. And you'll go in. All right, and so we're just gonna go like this. And we're gonna get nice pieces of salad chunks per se to go in my uh, my Caesar salad. So that's it guys, it is super easy. Uh, normally I would do like a grilled cheese to go with this, but like I said, we were supposed to go out tonight and they were, they were gonna surprise uh, supply the scallops and we were gonna have a scallop Caesar salad. So it looks like Jack and I are gonna have just plain old Caesar salad for dinner. Um, we'll just put a lot of cheese on it. And we're gonna have a broken bread bowl. <laughs> Dinner's gonna be fun tonight. But did you see how much cheese I got from that little tiny, two little pieces of Parmesan cheese? So this, I love this product. It's without a doubt, absolutely one of my favorite. So the breadcrumbs are cooking. They're gonna take probably about 20 minutes, maybe a half hour, because we want them nice and crunchy. If you make them really crunchy, make sure that they're cooked all the way through. They last for up to two weeks uh, in a, um, a bag or something like that. So uh, that's it. My Caesar salad is ready to go. My broken bed, bread bowl is ready to go. And um, that's my dinner for tonight. Have a great night, guys.